Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do the Unfiltered News by G. Edward Griffin of the Unfiltered News Reality Zone. Uh, I'll realign this. Okay. And we're going to do it for March 8th through the 14th in recession. Meaning I'm going from the newest to the oldest. Okay, here we go. Obamacare. Do not open until uh, 2013. Scratch that. 2014. Scratch that. 2016. There you go. And it's a crash into the house. And the American system is looking out. Okay. Let's go here to the first of the news headlines, which is a video. The smart meter update includes a shocking report on what effects smart meters have on your blood cells after only a few minutes of exposure. Included are tips on how to take back your power. Infowars, March 14th of this year. U.S. A bank official says that he funneled tens of thousands of dollars into illegal contributions on behalf of the online poker company to Senators Harry Reid and Mike Lee in exchange for political favors. <laughs> Lee also accused of fraud and the sell of his home to a federal contractor at the reduced price, leaving the bank to absorb the loss. The Department of Justice is throffing the FBI's investigation. ABC News, March 14th. Hmm, imagine that. Okay, Idaho legislator, both the House and Senate, unanimously passed the bill to nullify federal gun control laws. This will be done by pro pro prohibition state enforcement of any federal laws pertaining to the personal firearms, accessories, or animation. Tack. March 13th. A video. Armed pro-Russian volunteers have formed a militia in Crimea and are trying to keep order until the referendum on March 16th. If Crimea votes are to join Russia, the volunteers will be absorbed into the Russian army. AFP, March 13th, and this is probably going to happen, who knows, may lead to World War III. Our connected video, Ukraine Parliament vote to create a National Guard and increase the number of its troops in response to Russian military drills on the border of the Ukraine. The West is denouncing the referendum as illegitimate really we have that power to tell our countries how to rule their countries around them and stuff the ukraine's supposed to be separate yet it has a lot of russians in there the ukrainians are are being uh hoodwinked and oh man march 13th white house is withholding thousands of documents related to the CIA's torture program in secret overseas prisons. These ain't the same activities that Obama criticized the Bush administration for concealing. Hot air, March 13th, and or not. It's the same government. There's no difference between the two party system you apparently are misled if you believe there's a two party system and you're you're being lied to as a public you just don't know what's going on okay video North Dakota filters used in fracking operation contain radioactive materials dredged up during drilling and tons of them are produced every day. Since the radioactivity exceeds the safety limits, the oil company has no place to legally dispose of them. So, they are dumping them on roadsides, Indian reservations, garbage dumpsters, and abandoned buildings.
the state has ignored the problem because oil drilling is a boom to the local economy, don't you know? And making a big, big profit for the money junkies. Rachel Maddow, March 12th. And you know this is coming down the pike. New documents from Edward Snowden reveal that the NSA has masqueraded as Facebook server in order to infect users' computers with malware. The malware can spread to other Facebook users and collect files off in off their hard drives. Don't you know? Gizmo reports this March twelfth. Video. Why is the Republican Party in Ohio afraid of libertarians? Well, Ohio's Republican Secretary of State struck a libertarian candidate, Charlie L., from the primary ballot because the race for the governor is close and Earl may siphon votes away from the incumbent Republican Governor John Cush. Earl filed a case in federal court to reinstate and Swan, as you know, is one of us. An American. March 12th. He's from Ohio. You should know this. If you're in Ohio. Uh, Oklahoma Senate passed a bill that would make silver and gold legal tender within the state. Cool. This is a direct challenge to the fiat money produced by the Federal Reserve, which is an illegal banking cartel of banksters. The bill will now move to the House for consideration. Ben Swan, March 11. Ah, video. Washington, D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray says that he was unaware of the $668,000 off the book's shadow account for his campaign in 2010. However, his main donor says that the uh, mayor asked for most of the money. A millionaire businessman plead guilty to funneling money into Gray's shadow account and also for Hillary, which is too old to run. She's 65. By the time she gets there, she'll be 68. Oh, well. Clinton's 2008 presidential campaign, AP, March 11th. Okay. You know, she's trying to be a Reagan or something in the Democratic eyes. Wrong, wrong, wrong. A video to be used later on, or a, a news article, it's not a video. Uh, Nigella Sativa, uh, our black cunning oil, has been used with great success in curing cancer, especially in the pancreas, colon, lungs, breast, and prostate in the brain. Natural news. March 10th. This is a natural cure that the pharmaceutical companies will never recognize. Why? Because they can't make a thousand dollar pill out of it per dose. Don't you know? Russia is threatening to freeze the assets of U.S. and European corporations in Russia. This is in response to the threat that the U.S. and the EU freeze Russian assets. So far, it's just posturing on both sides, but who knows where it will go. Infowars, March 10th. And it's true, we're trying to demonize Russia as the enemy again, go back into a Cold War, don't you know, can't you see what's coming on, the repeat of history, because these people have no new way of doing this, to rouse you up, to send your children on the bayonets of this illegitimate government's enemies along with uh, the illegitimate country of is I won't say the rest I don't have to okay Russia is threatening to freeze the SSUS European corporation Russia this in response to the threat the US and EU are to freeze Russian assets right I just said that who knows where I'll go well, because we don't. I mean, it's it's worth repeating. 
uh, video, internet data brokers spy on users as they surf the web and then sell the data to third parties. Web users can find out who is tracking them with Disconnect, an open source pay without you want to in internet privacy filter service. 60 Minutes reported this March 10th. And you can. You can go on there and be indiscreet and not tell who you are and they can't send these ads onto your internet. Another article to be kept for future use. A new study published in the Harvard Lucent blames fluoridated water and other environmental toxins for an increase in cognitive and behavioral disorders like HDHD. Do you, do you know that yet? In previous studies, Harvard reported that fluoride lowers children's IQs, making them stupid and believe that the Earth is orbited by the Sun, and 2 plus 2 equals 5. Don't you understand what they're doing with all this? Natural Society, March 9th. Uh, it's just insanity. It's Orwell's 1984 come to life. Video, Ram... Uh, Rand Paul won the 2014 CPAC Conservative Political Action Conference straw poll, winning 31% of votes. <sighs> Nearly triple the support of the next contender, Ted Cruz. Uh, Paul outlined his 2016 platform for the president in this interview. Know how... Paul seldom answers the question directed at him, but uses them merely as springboards to make statements on the topic of his choice. This criticism is not directed at Paul, but at the art of politics. They all do it, don't you know? Fox News, March 9th. Video. Independent media outlet, the Fall Disclosure Network, filed a lawsuit against the L.A. Superior Court because the court refused a request to film a, in the courtroom. The suit says that this violates the First Amendment and the Fall Disclosure Network is making a documentary that exposes corruption in the court and the judges do not want to help them. FDN posted March 11, and they don't want you to film what's going on. You realize it's a it's a kangaroo court, it's a court of of maritime, and they don't want you to know you're in a maritime court. What the hell? I mean, you gotta go along with the judge is God, and you're just the subject to this God, and he makes a decision. That's why they want to get rid of uh, juries. And so the jury has power over the judge. The judge is just a referee, and if you don't know this, you're not studying what the jury actually is in the court. That's why they have these stupid shows on TV with, you know, the the judge is the one, and they bring them in there, and there's no jury. It's just the judge making decisions. Judge says this. Judge says that. I go by the law. Even if the law is wrong, I go by it because it's written in ink. U.S. Congressman Gerard Polis has called for the Treasury to ban the U.S. dollar. And they should. It's a fiat money. This is a satirical response to Senator um, Manchin's serious plea to ban Bitcoin. Both currencies allow users to participate in illegal activities and are susceptible to forgery, theft, and loss. And you saw how the Bitcoin went. That's because the U.S. Treasury, which is not the U.S. Treasury, but the federal government Treasury, has said, this money's illegal. Well, and your money's not. Because Congress doesn't control the currency all oh, really? right tech crunch posted march 8th a video russian ships sank two aging ukrainian vessels blocking the only exit point at the black sea most ukrainian warships 
now are are stranded close to land and their navy suffers a humiliating loss while Russian forces control the port of uh, Sebastopol. Uh, Reuters, March 8. You got to remember why Russia is over there. You know why Russia is over there. They're over there protecting their nuclear submarine bases and stuff. They're over there just protecting their interest that was allowed by the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians are being influenced by the U.S. government, which is an abomination, and they're, they're, they're trying to plead with them and get back into the Federal Reserve type systems of banksters. And it this goes on and on and on and on and on. I mean, it, you, you're not seeing what's going on. You're not paying attention in history. We'll repeat. <laughs> UK doctors are being asked to help spot terrorists and turn them in. Collectivist governments want everyone to spy on everyone else. This policy will end doctor-patient confidentiality and create fouls of tens of thousands on innocent civilians, waste doctors' time in matters unrelated to health and catch no terrorists at all, which they haven't done since 9-11, which was an inside job. UK Express posted March 8th. Uh, video, Ukraine demanded that international observers from the EU be allowed to inspect military activities in Crimea. However, they were turned away after warning shots were fired by pro-Russian forces. BBC, March 8th, then they were allowed to do that. Remember, this is not our country or their country. It's an independent country that has no right to ask for a foreign aid to come in at this moment. And it's... Ooh. South Dakota, the Lakota Indian Nation is issuing maize coin. It's a digital currency based on Bitcoin. Many other groups also are attempting to copy the Bitcoin model. We think competition is good. The Verge posted March 8th, and it is. Competition is good. Let's not listen to J.P. Morgan and others who said competition is a sin. No, those are the banksters who believe that everything should be under an umbrella corporation. Think Resident Evil. And you understand. I mean, that's an umbrella corporations. They're all under one umbrella and they all are the same corporation. If you don't realize that, what they're trying to teach in Resident Evil as a sideline, you're not paying attention. Anyways, oh, those truck painters. Look at that. Three dimensional truck paintings on the side of a truck delivering Pepsi. Analysis. Uh, video. Judge Neil Powell says that a recent statement by Democrat Senator Dianne Feinstein is a genuine changer. He is referring to the, her accusation that the CIA broke the law by engaging in torture and hacking into Senate Intelligence Committee computers. The reason is this game changer is that it may signal the end of Congress and the Senate quietly accepting whatever the CIA does. Fox News, March 13th. Oh yeah, and she's been attacked by the NSA and now she's upset about the NSA. Because it was her, not you, being spied upon. And, uh, oh well, this this all came out in the wash. I'm telling you, the wash always tells. California, water FX is a new desalination technology that recycles and purifies salty agricultural drainage water from irrigation crops. It uses solar heat and consumes only one-fifth the energy of traditional desalinization plants. It has a 93% recovery rate in reusable water preventing runoff that would normally pollute rivers, wetlands, and aquifers. Business Insider, March 12th. And you know that they're not going to grow any crops this year in uh, 
California well, because they don't got no water because California is so strict on the water because of the predicted drought climate change that happens every so many hundreds to a thousand years is happening there now and and they're big on this carbon tax which you've just seen over the year the winners of the worst that they ever been and it has nothing to do with global warming but everything to do with climate change which climate changes all the time they think they can take money from your pocket put it in theirs and they're going to be able to fix the problem what are they going to do nothing but take your money away this wake up see the exposure of the evilness they're doing living on the edge collector in large talk about a tree living on the edge that's a cool picture should be a mural we got this week's humor we got this one here Perina ad this will put a smile on your face just click and observe and enjoy the unfiltered form or you can see what they're up to the case for government issued fat money yeah we don't need that fat money we need Congress to do what they're supposed to do and they're not doing so what are we gonna do and this was the current of this month I'm doing the two week thing here because uh, well I have things going on in my background new job my dad died everything and uh, I got to uh, deal with all this information coming in on the side and I can't do my cyber scribing correctly but this is March 8th through the 14th which is through today okay I'm going to news archives I'm going to last week which is this here and I'm going to start over with this one this is uh, March 1st through the 7th and 38 through the 14th I'm going in regression this is older news I always do this with the newest to the oldest and this is the headline for this week snowblower robber against uh, <laughs> snowblower <laughs> I guess snowman against a uh, normal snowman citizen anyways let's get on to it Ukraine's new government with ties to US EU has appointed super wealthy oligarchs oligarchs to become governors in the eastern region where the people feel an affirmity to Russia this they say is an attempt to calm the unrest in those regions let's see how that works out we expect more violence more intervention from superpower outside of Ukraine it gets worse by the, the day Interventionism is the curse of the world peace. March 7th by AP. Crimea's parliament voted unanimously to break away from Ukraine and become part of Russia. A referendum for the people to vote on this issue will be held 10 days and there is a good chance of acceptance because the region has Russian majority population. Obama issued an executive order placing sanctions against Russia including a ban on travel and freezing Russian assets in the US. Reuters March 6th US the US House passed a bill by 90 vote margin to make the fine of zero dollars for violating individual mandate that requires people to buy Obamacare insurance if their employer doesn't provide it for them Obama vowed to veto the bill if it makes it past the Democratic Senate weekly standard March 6th it's a failure Obamacare is a failure. It's an abomination with an A, and uh, he's failing. That's why they're pushing the carbon tax again, or climate change. To get money from your pocket and put in theirs. If you don't see it, you're not paying attention. Uh, article that's important for collection is fluoride has been officially classified as a neural 
toxin, a neurotoxin. I have to repeat that. You're being poisoned, don't you know? By medical authorities in the current Lascent Neurological or Neurology a Journal. The author cites studies that link a seven point loss of IQ in children who drank fluoridated water. Fluoride alert posted March 5th. They want your child to believe that 2 plus 2 equals 5. Don't you know? They're teaching that with the new math that they came out with, known as CORE. And uh, don't forget that. CORE is evil. It's to dumb your children down to being idiots. And uh, they're getting away with it at this time. Ukraine. Estonia's foreign minister, Yomas Payet, says that the sniper shooting last month were not ordered by the old regime, which is the official story, but a false flag operation of the new coalition now in power. The purpose was to generate hatred against the regime. He based his claim on the fact that people from both sides were killed, including police, which would not have been the case if the shooters had been government soldiers. Furthermore, the new coalition has refused to investigate the incident. Zero Hedge, March 5th. Here we go. False flag incidents trying to get us in the World War III. Don't you know? They got bunkers to jump into, underground bases, go dumbs. You don't have that option. So you about your luck. You don't have a save me ticket. Uh, the CIA is accused of spying on the Senate committee on intelligence and its staffers. Senator Mark Udell wrote a letter to Obama asking him to declassify the CIA's 6,000 6, page report on its torture program. But the administration does not want it made public. So now the CIA is looking for the embarrassing information on members of the committee to blackmail them into backing off. Tech dirt. March 5th. Don't you know? A video. Obama announced another delay to his health plan, allowing insurers two-year grace period to offer bare-bone plans to people who are already enrolled in them. Obama hopes to st stave off insurance cancellations of these plans that would further outrage consumers and embarrass Democrats at their midterm elections. March 5th. Well, if you're a socialist, you're always a socialist Democrat, don't you know? And the uh, Republicans are fascists. That's why they're working together to make Obama a fascist socialist, don't you know? Or now you haven't been paying attention to history again. Ah, FlexCoin, a website that describes itself as the world's first Bitcoin bank, has shut its doors. It was hacked, robbed of. 896 bitcoins valued at $600,000 that it stole online for immediate transaction among depositors. Bitcoin stored off or are uh, stored off were not stolen and are being returned to their owners. Owners of the stolen bitcoins have no recourse. PC World March 4th. See, they're trying to take bitcoin out of there. It's like the Ron Paul dollar. They went out and confiscated that Ron Paul dollar, or silver dollars with Ron Paul's head on it. Oh yeah, they didn't want that. Oh my God, it would shut them down. You can't have you shut down the elitists of this bankster organization. How? That would that would mean we'd be free again, huh? Free? Really? Yeah. <laughs> An Oregon man was arrested on the bus after the driver claimed he overheard him tell another passenger that he was carrying a gun. When the police boarded the bus, they found that he was not carrying any kind of a weapon, but they arrested him anyways for interfering with public transportation. Apparently, it is unacceptable to discuss guns on a bus in Oregon. Story leak, March 5th. This is madness. These guys, these police officers are apparently on SSRIs or psych drugs. And they're stupid now and retarded and don't know how to act. 
uh, just 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 a, a, a sight you know something I'm looking at and uh, yeah they're they're playing these games and you're not seeing it so you're getting caught up in them California State Senator Ted Grains is suing the state of Obamacare exchange for causing cancellation of more than a million insurance policy. He also says the taxpayer dollars were wasted on sleazy Richard Simmons videos as part of the 1.37 million campaign to entice enrollment. Watchdog.org, April, March 5th. <laughs> California is a waste. Oh, they're so socialist. Georgia is close to calling for a convention of the states to make constitutional amendments to restrain the federal government. While the go is praiseworthy, this would have the same effect as the constitutional convention, which would open the constitution to being gutted, uh, taken away. You wouldn't have what is stated right now, and you would be a slave for the rest of your life. These attending the convention would be mostly the same politicians who have ignored the Constitution in the past. Don't you know? We have no reason to believe that they suddenly would change their views as a special convention. Alaska and Alabama also are pushing for a convention of states. Gainesville Times, March 4th. If they ever get away with this, You'll be a slave. Shackles will return. Prison for not agreeing with government will return. It's a repeat of history that we've seen in World War II and World War I. Oh, well. If you're not awake, you're asleep. And if you're asleep, you'll end up in one of these cold cells wondering why you got there. Anyways, Russian economist Sigurd Glazovic says that Russia would not be able to pay back loans to U.S. banks if the U.S. imposes trade sanctions against Russia for the Kremlin invasion. In addition, Russia likely would stop using U.S. dollars in trade with other countries. Clearly, this is a message to the banks to convince the Obama administration to forget the sanctions. Infowars March 4th, and they have to. The banksters will go broke too, and they can't handle that. They're the ones behind it, and they can't. They 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 just suddenly woke up and said, you know what? This is a bad idea. There's good ideals and bad idea, and uh, that's a bad idea. Okay, Oklahoma. A bill to nullify Agenda 21 passed the House 6626. The bill would prohibit the state agencies from adopting policies that infringe on the property rights without due process, eminent domain that is. It also voids previous commitments to Agenda 21. The bill now moves to the state Senate where it first must be accepted by the committee, TAC, March 4th. And it should be turned down. Agenda 21 is a NATO and a UN bill where it gives foreign entities to come in your country and tell you what to do superseding the Constitution. Do you want that? You want foreign entities telling you how to act and what to do? I don't think so. Anyways, U.S. The Baltimore taxpayers were ordered to pay $250,000 to a man who says that the police deleted the video from his smartphone that documented his arrest. The police denied the charges, of course, but the size of the settlement indicates that the judge was convinced that they were not telling the truth. The news story says that Baltimore police were fined, but that is not true. No police officer paid any fines. As usual, it came from the tax revenue. PNAC, March 4th. And of course, they do this all the time. They're, they're, you'll win the case against them, but your taxpayer dollars will pay for the fine to the individual, don't you know? The, the thing to do is personally uh, go beyond the court and say, I want to personally sue this officer his name is this on the badge, his name is this on his name tag, his number is this, that's on the badge. 
I want to sue him. I want to make him butt hurt because he did wrong to me. Now, that's how you actually go about this. Okay, video. Russian military forces have seized control over the Crimean Peninsula of Ukraine. Putin says he is trying to protect the ethnic Russians in Ukraine, but there is no doubt that he is more motivated to protect Russia's naval bases there. Obama's response was to threaten economic sanctions against Russia. ABC News, March 3rd. And it's true. Putin went over to the Ukraine to protect his bases of Russia that were allowed in the UK before this incident. He's over there just protecting the interests of Russia, not to take over the country, not to do any of this. He hasn't killed a single person over there yet. He came over there and told them that if you're going along with the US, we're going to stop you from coming on our bases, just imagine uh, spies and stuff over there from the U.S. going and taking a U.S. or a Russian submarine and taking it out for a cruise. I mean, just, ooh, this is what's happening. The facility council at the uh, Rutgers University urges schools to drop Condoleezza writes as a speaker. The reason is that because of her misleading statements about weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist in Iraq, she shares direct responsibility for Iraq war and the deaths of at least 100,000 people. At least. There's more. Uh, Daily Caller, March 3rd. And you just gotta look at the facts on this. Uh, and to see what happened over there. Next, the mayor of London, Boris Johnson, is calling for the state to take children away from their parents if they are hold radical political beliefs. That's right. They hold radical political beliefs. They believe we should not be in any more wars as a radical political belief. We in America believe the same. If you do a poll over most of the countries of the world, they have had enough wars in their lifetime. They don't want any more bankster wars. And it's banksters with a B and er. <laughs> and, and that's what's going on there. Infowars March 3rd. China, a group of hooded attackers committed a mass stabbing attack at a train station, leaving 29 dead and 130 wounded. Authorities have blamed Muslim separatists who represent the religious restrictions placed on them by Chinese rule. Well, they shouldn't be over there if they're in China, right? I mean, in a way, I agree with China, in a way, I disagree with them, but you know, they shouldn't be there. If you're in a country that you don't agree with the rules of the country, you shouldn't be there. It's like the Muslims here trying to get Shira passed in the U.S. Bullshit! If you don't like the American Constitution and apple pie and baseball and, and the rest of it, get the hell out of our country. Period. BBC, March 2nd. Er, it's the same thing. If you don't agree with the American laws and everything that we got, get the hell out. If you, you're, you're a Muslim or any other nationality that doesn't agree with what's going on here, in that respect that you want to Im impress your laws on our country, go away. We have enough problems with the laws being passed right now, not to have you here trying to impress your laws on our country. Go the fuck away. Okay. Connecticut. Tens of thousands of gun owners are refusing to turn in their newly banned unregistered firearm rifles that hold a clip of bullets instead of a single shot made after 1994. According to law, they now are felons and could f face arrest. An activist has sent letters to all lawmakers who passed the law to suspend enforcement until the Supreme Court rules on its constitutionality, which is totally unconstitutional. You're allowed to have almost weapons equal to our military under the Constitution's Second Amendment, if you don't understand that. 
then you're not paying attention and you're a socialist thinking. He argues that gun confiscation could end in bloodshed, and it could easily become a revolution in that state. Shit hits the fan plan uh, March 1st. Now, think about that and understand what the hell's going on. Idaho joins four other states that have an ag-gag law that prohibits secretly video recording animal abuse and unsafe conditions in the animal food processing industry. Really? The uh, Idaho dairy industry lobbied for this law after being embarrassed, embarrassed, let's underline that, embarrassed, by an undercover video used to prosecute employees for canning, beating, or canning, beating, and sexually abusing cows. Sexually abusing cows. What's underlying that part of it? Adorazera, March 1st. Food Inc. is an excellent documentary if you want to see what's really going on in the industry. Just watch that. Food Inc. will wake you up. It's a wake-up call to everyone saying that what I'm eating was abused and killed in unhumanly circumstances and, and put into living conditions of unhumanly conditions for even a farm animal. Ask the Amish. They will tell you they'd never do something like that. It's just unreal. Uh, Petalama, California, Rancho Feeding Corporation is under criminal investigation on the belief that the facility was buying cows with eye cancer, chopping off their heads to prevent discovery of the disease and commingled <laughs> the remains with meat sod as healthy. The plant was closed in early February and 8.7 million pounds of meat is being recalled, much of which was packaged into frozen products. Daily Mill, Paul said Mark's 11th. Don't you understand what they're doing? You're not paying attention. Camping at Yosinami. There you go, hanging off a sheer cliff and reading. Looks like he's reading a book. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Analysis for this week. James Colbert present the evidence in a video of U.S. and NATO intervention in Ukrainian, including Orange Revolution and the insanity behind it all. Colbert reports, March 5th. Madness going on still. Video, Garbage Warriors is a documentary about one man's crusade to build a house made from discarded towels, plastic bottles, dirt, cement, and other materials at hand. Not only are they inexpensive, they're 100% off the grid. They produce their own energy, heat, and water, all of which come from nature. They even include greenhouse houses to grow food. Perhaps the most interesting part of the story is the battle against the country and state governments which refuse to issue building permits for these materials or methods. The program is exceptionally well produced, but be aware that it contains some vulgar language, as I've been spouting here and there, and I'm sorry for, and unfortunately it promotes the myth of global warming, which is a farce. There is no global warming. There is climate change, as they say, but yet there's, what, uh, spring, summer, fall, winter, spring, summer, fall, winter. Those are all climate change. You go pay money to have something that naturally happens over a cycle of time? I mean, the sun is a big ball up there they never considered that does things every 12 to 24 years. No. Come on. Wake up. Be awake. Don't listen to these people that want to take money from your pocket and put it in theirs. That's all it's about. Ah, man. If you can raise above those insults to one's intelligence, if you have an intelligence, otherwise you're unintelligent if you don't know what's going on with this global warming taxation 
uh, or global climate change taxation, you're not paying attention. You're just not in paying attention. You are in for a fascinating story. Warning, once you begin, you will not want to quit this video because it will explain everything to you. But you have to disregard the global warming being caused by people. We are particles of sand on a beach. I mean, if you want to blame somebody, blame the factories that produce all carbon dioxide and stuff. I mean, don't blame the people. It's not our fault that they produce this stuff, make commercials for it, and put it out there, and make you want to buy gadgets and gadgets and toys and stuff on the market. No, blame them. They're not cleaning up after themselves. They're not putting scrubbers in. That's what it takes. They're money junkies. I keep trying to tell you that. This is supposed to be a YouTube video on March 5th. I, uh, I, I have to, do I have to actually state that? I mean, right. Puri Almanadia, a co-founder of eBay and PayPal, has been working with the U.S. government in helping to fund the U.S.-backed protest in Ukraine. See, an enemy of our state. The murky side of the story is that Omadaya recently established a news agency that employs journalists Glenn Greenwald and Laura Petraea and custodians of the Snowden NSA documents. See the potential conflict of interest here? There's a conflict of interest here. Critics suspect that Omadaya is a covert agent of U.S. government has taken ownership of the Snowden documents to be selective about what new information is revealed. This comes out of the Washington Post in Washington, D.C., uh, March 3rd. Who knows what the potentiality of this article is. Video. Federal law allows oil and gas drillers to dump fracking wastewater into the ocean. Environmentalists have filed a petition with the EPA to modify or revoke this discharge permit in California on the claim that the wastewater contains undisclosed chemicals that may be hazardous to marine life and human health. Although there are strong arguments in favor of the fracking, and although some environmentalist groups seem most interested in destroying America's industrial independence than in protecting the environment, we feel that it is unwise to approve fracking until the identity of the chemicals is disclosed, and they should be. We need to know what those chemicals are that they keep classified in fracking. It's polluting your groundwater. You're drinking that stuff if you're near one of these fracking places of or companies. Claiming that they are proprietary is no excuse to keep them secret when public safety is at stake. Only a few large companies are in this business and it is certain that they are all the identifiers of the chemicals so preventing public from knowing does not give them any a competitive advantage over the others. We suspect that the chemicals are held secret because otherwise public outrage would force their discontinuance. Russia Today, March 3rd. Another one. Another article here. A video. Judge Neapolitano shatters the myth of several past presidents st st uh, starting with Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln is revealed as a power-hungry politician who used slavery issue as a ploy to gain support for his war, which really was about tariffs and the state sovereignty hold tight that he pulls the curtain aside in the agendas of Teddy, Revolt, uh, Teddy Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson. Obama is the philosophical extension of trends began long ago for independence. Wow, if not Obamacare, then what? And that's it. There's a uh, nice little thunderstorm picture, humor for this month. This guy, uh, well, a girl made a mistake. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got to uh, check on something here. Oh man, I may have to do it over again.
wind storms have had uh, havoc on the power system. I'm plugged into the uh, power source here, but when the power went out, it did some weird stuff on my computer switching over. I don't even know if I'm still recording or not. Oh my god, I don't think so. I think I lost. No, I'm still recording. 50 minutes, 12 seconds. I'm going to go 51 here. Say, be good, be good. Have, have a wonderful weekend. You heard my uh, background for my uh, windows. Uh, background and uh, it's Irish and uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a great tomorrow until next time be good be good at it and uh, keep an eye on the news this is a double article for this week and I hope you enjoyed it I'm still like I said having difficulties on new job death in the family all this stuff and uh, I'm doing this like I am. Good day.